guys, it's Sarah. So I am back with another video and I am sitting in front of my Christmas tree uh, because we have all of our decorations up for Christmas, which is super duper exciting. And um, this is our little Christmas tree that we have. It's about six feet and it's pre-lit because that's the way we do it around here it's with the colored and we have the white lights, but there wasn't enough light in my living room. So I had to bring in one of my lights. So that's what's going on right now. I got a ton of responses on my last video, which is awesome for videos that I should make this time around or for the holiday season. And one was my Christmas traditions, which is one of my favorite things to talk about because I am traditional. I'm gonna talk about uh, what I did when I was little and growing up, everything was the same. My family really struck, stuck to tradition. Christmas is my mom's favorite time of year. So um, we're gonna talk about holiday traditions and then I kinda have something to talk about at the end. And it's product because you know how much I love my lipstick. <laughs> and I got asked a lot of questions on the lipstick I wore in one of the pictures that I posted yesterday. So we're gonna talk about that later. So first, um, basically for all of my Christmases when I was little and growing up, I mean everything was the same really until I got married and so Christmas Eve we would go to church and we always went to church on Christmas Eve and it was so nice. I loved the Christmas Eve services at church because you got to get dressed up and I mean I still dress up now but like I got to dress up even more and like my big poofy sparkly dresses which I'm sure if I had access to big poofy sparkly dresses I'd probably still wear them but I don't have access to those because they normally only come in little girl sizes sadly we would get all dressed up and we go to church and then we would come home and we always ate like an appetizer kind of thing um, at nighttime so we never really did like the traditional like holiday dinner or whatever we always had like appetizers so we'd have like mini hot dogs and meatballs and like little pizza bites and anything we could get our hands on that was like an appetizer we would watch Rudolph or Frosty the Snowman or the old claymation movies normally those were on uh, ABC Family's 25 Days of Christmas which I know you still love it don't even play I love the 25 Days of Christmas if I got ABC Family that's all I'd watch that's all my mom really watches is the 25 Days of Christmas and Hallmark Christmas movies. Once those Hallmark Christmas movies come on, Jack Sawyer's got them turned on. And they're great movies. And then what would happen would be that normally during the movie, I would go get a Christmas present from underneath the tree and I got to open one. Kitty, you cannot bite that. Kitties don't eat lipstick. My mom would always uh, pick out the present because she was the wrapper of most of them, so she would, you know, obviously know. And so she would let me pick out um, one, and well, she picked it out, and I would got to open it up. And normally it was like socks or, you know, a book or something like that. But one Christmas, one Christmas, I went and got the present, and I'll never forget. We used to do like themed Christmases. Whatever I was into was normally like the theme. So Sailor Moon Christmas, I was seven years old and it was an awesome Christmas. Thanks mom and dad, it was awesome. I went and I picked it out and I remember my mom was like, no, not that one, but I opened it already. And I got the Sailor Moon wand. It was like a crescent wand. It's how she put on her Sailor Moon outfit. For those of you who know Sailor Moon, you know. That's how she did it, and it was awesome. I was kind of convinced that maybe if I had it, that it would happen for me, but it didn't. I never changed magically into that little uniform. But that's okay, I'm not bitter. And then I would go to bed. I would go to bed after I opened my present, and it was normally around like nine or 10. And I did not stop believing in Santa until I was probably 10. And laugh all you want, but I was so afraid that if I stopped believing in Santa that he would come, even though it was my parents. But I really, really believed. I love that magic, man. Be hold on to it, right? You could be, you know, 45 and still believe in Santa. Maybe. And I'd wake up in the morning and it was like, I, my mom and dad still do it where they don't put all the Christmas presents out at night. They don't put the stockings out. Everything is left until morning. And so I'd wake up in the morning and, you know, everything would be 
ready the lights would on the Christmas tree would be on and I would go wake my parents up they had a six o'clock wake up time I wasn't allowed to be in there before six o'clock which is understandable I mean you know I understand now as a parent that six o'clock is pretty early but as a kid I was like 4 a.m. 4 a.m. 5 a.m. is it almost time you know and then 6 a.m. happened and it was glorious and I'd go wake them up and my mom always made coffee and cinnamon rolls and she's still to this day, it's the same thing, coffee and cinnamon rolls, only now I partake in the coffee. I got to open my stocking while I waited for my dad to get up. So I would open my stocking and I mentioned in one of my previous videos, my mom loves stockings. She is like a stocking expert. She does so good. There's so many things that like she just finds it's crazy so it's like stocking palooza in the morning and it's awesome so we have our stockings and then we open our presents and we do like a round robin where one person will open it and then everybody else will watch so it normally takes like two hours just because we take forever to open presents but I wouldn't have any other way I love it like that and then um, we go and we open presents and after that we're just kind of like playing with the toys watching the movies that we got and then for dinner we always had lasagna so we always had lasagna for Christmas dinner I don't know why I think it's I actually liked it better because my mom wasn't always in she wasn't in the kitchen all day like preparing this huge meal so she actually spent time with the family we would just eat lasagna we're not Italian but that's the lasagna was the food of choice back you know in the Sawyer household which is amazing it was so good and then we would And then we would just, you know, put all, like, everybody had their pile of stuff for Christmas. And then as a kid, you know, you always, like, go and look and see what else you forgot. Or you eat that, like, extra candy. And I always had Ferrero Rocher's. That's the only time I ever eat Ferrero Rocher's. If you don't know what that is, you need to go get some Ferrero Rocher's. They are so good. I don't know if it's Rocher. It's, like, fancy but I call it Ferrero Rocher. They're like little gold bonbons and they're covered in hazelnuts and I don't know, it tastes like Nutella on the inside. It is so good. So that's what we would do. That is my Christmas tradition. Anyway, so I wanted to just say a couple things before I end this video. So I posted an Instagram picture and it was a picture where I was wearing this really dark lipstick and I got so many people asking me about that lipstick. So I'm going to share with you what it was. So it took two products to make that. I always wear a lip liner with my lipsticks and this one, I don't really like this lip liner at all. I don't endorse it. Um, this is the Lip Perfection, CoverGirl Lip Perfection Pencil. Um, it's in the color Sophisticated, I believe. Sophisticated. And it's just like a dark color, so it's this guy right on top. But it's not very good. Um, it feathers really easily. I don't really like it, so I'm going to try and find one that I really, really love. And the lipstick that I wore over top of it is a Revlon lipstick, and these Revlon lipsticks are amazing. I love them. So it's this guy right here, and it's called Black Cherry, I believe. Yep, Black Cherry. And, and I swatched it right there, so that's the color. And then the red lipstick that I'm wearing right now, I use this lip pencil, and this is the L'Oreal Color Riche. And this is an amazing, amazing lip liner. So I just line my lips and then I color it in. It's gonna make the lipstick stick better and it just makes everything just look a lot more crisp and it doesn't feather your lipstick while it's not supposed to. And this one is this little line right here. I need to find a dark color in, in that guy, I love it. It's this guy right here. And then the lipstick that I'm wearing is right below it and it's a Sephora color. I actually went to Sephora and I bought 
this lipstick and I have another red color that's another Revlon color but I wanted a dark red and I haven't found one in the drugstore yet so hopefully they'll make one but it's this guy right here and oh, number 20 is what it is so number 20 Sephora this is $12 um, the Revlon lipsticks are $6 so it's about half the price um, for the Revlon and I mean honestly it's really amazing quality um, the Revlon is the one thing I do like about the Sephora is that it dries so see how this is dry and I can like run my finger over it and that's so those are the two lipsticks that I love in the two well the one lip pencil the L'Oreal Coloration and the Truly Red and I don't like this CoverGirl one so I hope you guys have an awesome day and I hope that you are having a wonderful Christmas season. Uh, it's my mom's birthday today, so happy birthday, mama. I love you very, very, very much. I love you guys. Giant hugs. And I hope to see you guys next time for my next video, which will be very, very soon. So I love you so much. Run, darling, run. I will talk to you shortly. Love you. Bye.